Time for my daily dose of pure evil, pure catharsis, maybe, as King Pano Chocola, the Impaler, an evil, twisted, downright deranged lunatic of a man with, uh, strangely enough, of course, a soft spot for his own family and whatever his own kind of misguided, mad mind uh, ways of justifying his love for his family are anyway. I like the idea. Someone brought this up in the comment section. I think that's a fantastic way to sum him up. Uh, bear in mind the character started with all those seduction perks, and I've kind of tried to incorporate that, even though it doesn't work for his, uh, even though he doesn't really have any traits like lustful or anything. It was, you know, what the AI chose to do before I started playing as him. Somebody said that maybe he's going for all these weird, crazy, and ever-increasingly risky relationships in some vain attempt to feel something. To feel perhaps loved back or maybe perhaps to fill that void and i like that idea i think that's fantastic uh because you know right now maybe he's not happy maybe he's never going to be happy until he lives up to the deranged expectations of his mad father biscotti who i imagine probably wasn't the kindest of men so here we are with uh basically byzantium slowly making its way into the dynasty everything's set up and ready we've just got to kind of hope that I know what I'm about to say doesn't make any sense, that the Byzantine Empire stays stable, which they are clearly renowned for, looking at the map currently. His daughter and primary heir is married uh, patrilineally, of course, to Ignatiu Carling, my character's nephew. Now, somebody asked why I didn't do it with uh, my, my character heir and son. Firstly, I'm not really sure I want to play with the entirety of the Byzantine Empire. It would be a massive distraction from the characters and the stories in development when suddenly we get this whole empire that's constantly in war. It really would just become kind of a slog, to be honest. Um, but more importantly, I don't think he'd accept... I don't think he would be happy to accept that, uh, particularly now his daughter is his primary heir. We wouldn't be able to break the betrothal and set that back up or anything like that. Simultaneously, I don't think that that is, uh, you know, I don't think that's something he would ever take because it is our primary heir. And I th I'm pretty sure there is a negative to the marriage arrangement for that. Maybe with like a grand wedding and other such things, we could have done it. But honestly, I'm fine with it. What I was actually going to aim for with our little cannoli here of Balio Tyrania is uh maybe the hre if we can set that up somehow now there aren't any uh there aren't any women successors to the hre it's house seniority which makes it very 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 difficult to uh, to try and set this up male preference house seniority so the oldest member of your house will inherit all the titles in this case that is his why does his older son <laughs> you see my you see my confusion here. House seniority. I thought the uh, HRU was elective anyway. It doesn't really matter too much. For whatever reason, this 15-year-old is inheriting it over the 19-year-old. Are you like a eunuch or something? Disinherited? I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter, ultimately. Um, yeah, no. I, I mean, either like the HRE or France would be kind of nice to set up. So, uh, it's currently my nephew that is likely to take on and become the, the Emperor of France, which is pretty fun, given that we will then have a nephew on Byzantium, granted only one of them is a Carling. I wonder if this guy, if this guy has a daughter, we could certainly swoop in pretty fast and, and maybe marry that daughter to, um, you know, th this character's son. What's his, what's the son called again? I know I just said it. You can't remember these things. Cannoli. We can marry those two together and maybe take France. Like, I want to take, ideally, the HRE, but of course, that's going to be a pain in the ass with their succession type. So, we'll see how that goes. I guess we can marry Sigmund. Maybe we could arrange a marriage. How would we even do that? He would never take a non... He would never take a matrilineal marriage. Not in a thousand years. Minus one thousand. That would never, ever happen. Um, yeah, really, we can't do much there, I'm afraid. Okay, let's not worry about it too much. I'm sure we can. We, we could just marry into that family normally just to get the alliance. For the time being, we've got a lot of people to murder. We've got a lot of people we hate. We've got a lot of stuff to build up. Now, actually, someone did make a, a very fair point. I swapped this over to 
stewardship so that we could get golden obligations because of all, for all the characters who I've got golden obligations on which is basically all of them uh the one that actually makes sense is this guy because he's the schemer he's the underhanded disgusting schemer and and demanding payments for hooks to make sense particularly when his second highest skill almost as high as his intellect uh his intellectual his um <laughs> intrigue right now is stewardship so I think it makes sense with this guy but somebody did make a good point you should have just gone on a tour and gone to the stewardship points around the map because with a with a quick journey with i mean what do we need like a thousand points for that first perk that would have taken you know one journey we could have done that and we could have stayed with 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 intrigue instead so that's a great point i'm a little bit you know disappointed that that i didn't think of that myself but we'll we'll figure something out here uh, uh who are we trying to abduct we're trying to abduct you what did you do wrong andre the frog that's right you were the one who fabricated the claim on the whole kingdom Yes, okay. Um, of course, we're going to try and abduct this man so that we can teach him a bloody lesson. Now, because we're paranoid, we probably don't want to invite anybody to the plot, do we? Um, oops. I want to I actually invite here, genius. Um, somebody will join. But again, because we're paranoid, it's going to freak my guy out a little bit. So we're trying to murder the ba Basilissa of... Uh, oh, that's right. Of course, the Basilis' his wife. Um, does make a lot of sense. Um, we're trying to seduce her. Abduct you, kill you. Right, got it. Yeah, sorry, it was it was a day. I've been very busy in real life. Sorry, there was no episode yesterday, so I've got to try and catch everything back up. I'm basically building a whole office from scratch. Um, and I mean like that literally, like putting walls up and putting a floor down and things like that. Uh, a troubadour will soon be performing for the court and Cagliari. It would be a simple request to have him change the performance to the dedication of Emma. Uh, sure, a bold dedication to the lady. See if we can win him over. He hasn't failed at any seduction schemes yet, right? I think he's pretty much knocked them all out of the park here. Um, this is all kind of irrelevant, I think. I'm happy to carry on. Maybe. Uh, anyway, bon appetit, William. Die. William Croven. Oh, my God. He dodged it. 95% chance and he dodged it. To be fair, he's genius and has very high intrigue. Um... Start the new murder scheme. Let's let's kick start it again. That's very annoying because we could have got a new plot out of that, but that's okay. Oh man, it's frustrating. We we got very close there. We could. You know how like I kept threatening as Biscotti to take the tradition that adds that Roman aspect to our culture. But bear in mind we've got Latin heritage, and there is that uh that 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 cultural um. What is it? That cultural pillar. Oh, sorry. The tradition for Sons of the Capital. This guy is not a very pious man. In fact, he's an evil piece of shit who will have been denounced by the church. Hopefully, you can see where I'm going with this. If we take Rome, are we going to make a lot of enemies? <laughs> we can make Rome our capital. Oh no, we would we would go straight to straight to mega hell if we did that, but that would also be very cool. <laughs> Is that too much? We take Byzantium, we put a carling on the throne of Byzantium. We've got to take Rome for ourselves, right? I don't know about this idea. Let me let me think about that a little bit. Oh shit, but if we could take the HRE and then we also take Rome, who's gonna stop us then, huh? Who would stop us then? I've gotta do some murders in uh the HRE to make this a bit more of a oh, is that like somebody so far down the line that maybe we could marry into? No, we need we need a female ruler for the HRE. I think we could do it. I genuinely think we could do it. I think I, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. I'm genuinely going to see if we can set this up. Ooh, Preciosa. She is genius. Very good. Good marriage fodder. Hold on a second. Let me look up some uh, Sicilian dessert. Let's see here. Uh, Bucatello. Have we already got a... I feel like we've already got a Bucatello. We do have a Bucatello. Meringue, biscotti, cannoli, mini de Saint Agatha, tiramisu. Okay, let's scroll down here. Let's see what we've got. I need something simple. Granita. That's a good name. That's a good name and easy for my mouth to say. Granita. May you grow strong and wise. I feel like she's already got that covered. She's got more stewardship than most of this bloody realm. Ah, Basilisa uh, Simonis will attend a local celebration in Cagliari, and I happen to know that she's a bit of a wine aficionado. She is. I'm sorry to say this. You were a hideous lady. No, I mean, the game agrees, too. I could lure her into the cellar of my castle for an exclusive tasting, then make sure she never walks out again. We are going to brick her up. 
Task of Amontillado style. We're vengeful. We've got an 86% chance of success and only a 5% chance of failure. We've got to do it. Fuck. We failed again. She followed me willingly into the cellar, drunk on merriment and wine. After many glasses of the fine wine, she fell readily asleep. But before I could finish walling up the exit, some servants walked in. Oh. That's two murders we failed back to back. What's going on? Oh, my lord. Okay. All right. Hello. What do you enjoy? You pr Yeah, you're content and humble and insightful thinking. You probably like something pious. Yeah, it's great. We'll see how pious you are in a moment, madam. Uh, anyway, sorry. How close were we? What was the uh, limiting factor? Oh, right. You're there. That's it. Exalted amongst men is all we need to build the university. We're halfway there. So let's sit on this cash stack. Uh, bear in mind, we've only got to keep, what, 900 gold in the pocket, was it? Or oh, 1,000 in the pocket. That's okay. Um, so I think we could do a little bit of upgrading there. I think we could stand to... Uh, uh, I mean, look, we've got a whole new building in Cagliari. I haven't built yet. Oh, I haven't built the windmills here. Ugh. Um, yeah. No, the windmills are really good at the highest levels, aren't they? Holding taxes. It's a flat holding tax modifier, which would be really nice. I think I'm going to slap some of those down. Yeah, we can, we can afford As long as we've got, you know, like that thousand gold in the back pocket, I'm happy with it. We're going to try and abduct Adjudicate Andre. This is the highest... Ah, oh, we actually got him. This is the highest uh, success chance, 85% for an abduction. What can we do then? I can't just, like, execute him, right? That's tyranny. As if abducting him isn't tyranny. Um, torture him? I could torture him. I could torture him people upset about that close family members and spouses lose opinion of me for torturing him now i said that this guy necessarily wasn't uh a torturer uh and then proceeded to build a forest of corpses uh i i do like the justification someone came up in the comments they said that he is a principled lunatic and i do think that's absolutely the case would we just suddenly start torturing this man for no reason no you know what stick to your guns he has principles, even though they are weird and warped and strange. I think we're going to not upset the apple cart too much. Now that he's in our dungeon, you know, nobody needs to know he's there. He's just... You know, well, people do know he's been in prison by us, I suppose. I don't really know the justification, how, how in-game this works. But you know what? We don't have to worry about it. Now he's in there, we could just try and murder him again, right? Can I just, like, throw him in the oubliette? Move to dungeon. That'll do it. That'll upset his family members, but it will kill him significantly faster. Bad omens. Oh, he's in house arrest right now. Let's just leave him in there. Let's leave him in there. He can't push a claim on us if he's in the dungeon. So that's kind of dealt with the issue, right? To the impressive King Pano Chocolat of Balio Tarinia, I propose a betrothal between... Who is this? The King of Poland. Um, my brother-in-law wants to marry my niece to my nephew. How confusing. Um, this guy is a bastard, so I, I mean, I can't do anything with him anyway. I'm just going to accept. I'm just gonna accept. We, can't, we can't do anything with that kid. Hello. Someone wants money. You want to go to Western Europe. You're very competent in your craft. Now nah, you're right. Okay. Uh, Emma looks at me hungrily, removing her garments. I do the same as we kiss a wave of lust rises to make us forget both the spatial discomfort and the dismal views and smells that surround us. They are... Having it off in uh, the privy. That is fucking disgusting. Uh, go to the privy for relief. I always say thank you, Shrek. Yes, that's fine. She's an honorable lackey. You're clearly not that much. Fine, done. Amazing work. Great. I don't know if there's a benefit. You know, like in CK2, when you when you uh, crossed a certain threshold for people you seduced, like six or seven people, you became the court tomcat, which gave like a fertility bonus and stuff like that. Know, there's something similar in this. Oh, speaking of cat, I think I found the reason why some days are more rat-free than others. My knight Amori happily declares he moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. Would we love a feline companion? Intrigue and learning. Oh, I feel like a cat kind of suits this guy, huh? Or we can say we can get a pet dog. No, that suits his father. And he's definitely not his father. Let's go with the pet cat. Let's go with that pet cat. I think that suits him a lot. Again, I can see this guy, you know, coming back from a uh, trip out from impaling some people and, you know, wiping the blood off of his sword and then immediately giving his old kitty some scritches. Go going home and calling his cat a little chunker or whatever as he takes off his bloody boots from stomping on someone, I presume. That's just the type of guy he is. He's a horrible piece of shit. What am I going to call you? Um, Mame. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I should be shocked at how fast that came to me. Um, we haven't got to worry about it. There's no risk. There's no risk needed. 
Informants could give me valuable inf implication, but they're also amateurs. He's paranoid. We don't need to. It'll happen. It'll happen. The chance of hitting that 5% failure chance twice in a row is very low. 2.5% in fact. So if we, if that happened, I'd be shocked. I'd be shooketh. Your culture has discovered urbanization. Very good. How close are we then to uh, late medieval? Sweet. We're five years there. Oh, amazing. Okay. Is there anything I want to get before we head over there? Because the second we start working on cranes, I think we could get it within this guy's lifetime. And then cranes let us upgrade this one. That gives us another 10% flat power to our, to our schemes, right? Um, hoardings, fortification buildings. We're not really doing much with that. Heraldry, high partition house seniority, divine rights. Several claims in a single war is pretty good. And then guilds gives us all economic buildings. Caravanserai. Tax development. Uh, it's not bad. Romanesque art. I still don't really know what this does for us. It just says this art style is part of the Latin aesthetic. I just don't know what it what it actually like does though. <laughs> um, why don't we just try and tick something off? Hoardings. Fine. I mean, we're so close to getting it finished. Why the hell not? And then Castle Bailey's will finish roughly at the same time because we've got that exposure to it. So that that's all good. This is going to be nice and fine. Oh, look, look at how many schemes I could be doing that I'm not doing right now. Golden obligations. Beautiful. So we actually now can't change focus for another few years. So again, that was absolutely should have gone on the tour this time around. Right. So we're murdering William Croven. We're murdering the Basilia. Um, why are you on the list? Oh, Igteni. Right. Because you are... Uh, you know what? I think I put you on the list for that thumbnail I did last. So we can unpin you now. Thank you. You're being murdered. Uh, you're in prison. So you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you're dealt with. Um, you're being murdered. My cousin, Emperor Henryman. Or we go back to this guy because I still want that bloody dagger. Because that dagger he's got is amazing. I, I might even be willing to put the university on hold to buy that dagger off of him if we get the opportunity to. I don't think he'll sell it to us again. But hostile scheme success chance plus 11% of scheme secrecy up by 10%. That's nuts. That's crazy good. So let's see if we can do it. Either that or... Oh, my God. Are there, like, diplomacy sites out on the map? Oh. As I slip between the sheets to join Aldonza, I was horrified to find oozing blisters on her private parts. This was... This guy's fault, of course. Look, she is stuck with us through thick and thin. She is, like, ride or die. She murdered his other lover, his sister, I think it was, because she's that, like, enamored with him. She's, like, almost obsessed with him in a way. She just, like, didn't care. She she did not care that this man slept with his sister. She only cared that she wasn't the only one that he loved. So much that she killed her. So this, this she's like a, a nuts lady. I, oh, God. Does he care about her? He likes her more than she likes him, and she's, like, full-on obsessed. Oh, man. Is this the one situation where I'd be happy to take on stress for this guy? This would give him, like, two levels of stress. But genuinely, I think it's such... These two are, like, so bad for one another. It's so perfect. I can't not say absolutely. We're just going to slap on two levels of stress instantly. Let's pet meme. <laughs> Thank you, friend. And then, uh... I mean, look, we could have another feast. I think they're not off of cooldown for a while, though, right? 13 months. Okay, we're close. We're going to hunt. Oh, no, because that's going to be it's another nine months on that one. Pilgrimage, you would never do. He's not a pious man. Okay, let's see what our options are, then. Irritable. I, I do think Irritable suits him. I, I feel like I'm going to the Strangers flashbacks. Oh, I wonder if that was in the curse timeline that, that OBS ruined for me. You know, the video broke down. I think that was this guy, and I swear he became irritable because I was like, this guy seems pretty appropriate for an irritable character. Callous and vengeful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with irritable. That will at least drop a level of stress and keep us going. Um, this bloody child wants to challenge me, me to a game of chess. Slay him, slay him. You will never see my moves coming. It takes a subtle mind to play chess. Yes, a laugh in that child's face. I'm beating him handily and Victor is so close I can taste it. Yes, yes, just as planned. Fuck you, tiny child. How does it feel to lose, little man? <laughs> oh, this might be my favorite character we've ever had in Crusader Kings. <laughs> He's such a piece of shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's so good. Oh, I'm going to miss him so terribly when he's gone. And look. Look 
at all the money we can bring into the realm, if I so choose. This will certainly pay for the... Because uh, I was like, okay, what are we going to do with all these hooks? Well, I found my answer. Because, I mean, what am I going to do with him? He's got a daughter. He's got a daughter. I kill... Oh, how far is she down the line of succession to Sicily, though? I'd have to kill one, two, three, four, five, six. What about her? I have to kill one, two, three, four, five at the minimum. Oh, and then you've got sons. Oh, Jesus. It would be quicker to kill him. Olympia de Horteville. We could grab Sicily. Like, we could, we could incorporate Sicily. And actually, that would be good just to incorporate into our round. Just, like, take it. So I might not use the hook on uh, Politu. I think Politu could be done for. Murder William Croven. Oh, because I'm also fabricating a hook. Sorry, yes. Um, yeah, no, let's, let's hold off. I think that might be the plan for, for kind of the overall goal for today. Let's try and get, let's just get Sicily. Let's just get Sicily. Let's just casual get Sicily. Right, who else can we, uh, who else can we diddle here? Let's have a look. What about you in my prison? Oh, that seems a bit morally un irresponsible. I say murdering two people and <laughs> overthrowing the realm and the other. Oh, what about this guy? Leon de Bessacon. Yes, perfect. You seem like the type of man that should be uh, thoroughly seduced. Only 30% because, again, homosexuality is taboo. It's minus 20. So this is a challenge. And I think this guy loves a challenge. He says, whooping a four-year-old at chess. <laughs> Probably one of the highest intrigue minds in Europe. Okay, okay, we're keeping the stress low. This is good. But that feast, and it will, it'll solve the stress in no time. I mean, look, unless we can... Uh, ooh. 50 gold. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, because I think this character is, is, is paranoid, and he wouldn't want a political enemy out there, particularly not someone who's just imprisoned, right? Look, I, I can't do much with France, because, uh, to be fair, I can do less with the HRE, right? We kill you. You have a... daughter... Which we marry off to a son. We've been waiting years, like two generations. Why is he not getting married? I marry him off. Yeah, but then we're going to get them to marry their, their niece. And that wouldn't work. I'm trying to think if there's a way we can steal the HRE. But that's not going to work, is it? Here, I, look, the HRE is too much of a pain in the ass. So I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the 450 gold from him. We could always just fabricate another hook immediately, right? If we want another 450 gold, we can just do that. I think we just take the money from this guy. Um, King Robert of of Castile. What, what could I do with you? You've got... Ooh. Hello. You've got a daughter. She is third in line. We could take Castile. Spindly. Um, hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. I could use this hook for money, or Prince Biscotti could take it. Because I don't really want to be running Castile, because I feel like Castile is horribly overextended. He will not accept. King Robert's faith differs from yours. Oh, they converted to Islam. Oh, well, that makes it difficult. What if we do a grand marriage? Even then, use the hook. Not even remotely in the right neighborhood. Oh, shit. Well, in that case, we can forget about trying to get Castile then. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna... Uh, look, I mean, let's see if we can buy an artifact. If you can, if we want to send me an artifact, I'll just... Uh, I, I mean, we'll just take the take the money and, and just ignore him. He will sell us his Iron Dagger. He will actually just straight up sell us his Iron Dagger, which is better. Um, it's a thousand gold. It's a thousand gold, but it's a thousand gold that I think we can put to really, really good use. Personal scheme success chance up by 11%. Scheme secrecy. Oh, what was that other dagger, though? This is personal scheme. Was the other dagger not... Oh, the other dagger's hostile scheme. Oh, shit. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, fella. I think the other one's better. He won't sell us Katana. That's unfortunate. Oh, shit. Oh, that's why he'll sell us the iron dagger, though, right? Yeah, they're both court artifacts. Um, has he got anything else we might want to steal? Magnificent statue. Short range duration minus 28% is really good. Honestly, I think I might just... Let's just take the... Let's just take his dagger, right? And we can swap between them, depending on which is, which is, which is worse. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. 
And then uh, Basilius Leontius, look, I don't think we need that hook on him anymore. So I'm just going to wait until he's got enough money and then he can pay for my university. Oh, that's kind of sick. This dagger is very cool. It's a court artifact, right? It's a pedestal item. I'm seeing George. What's that doing? Clergy opinion. Ah, fuck the clergy. <laughs> In fact, they're both pedestal items. We could have both. We could have both. I don't need to pick and choose. I don't think the other guy will sell it to us again. What we'd have to do then? Oh, I wonder. Can we go on a tour? Um, Grand tour. Can we visit diplomacy types? Uh, diplomacy sites and gain... Enough diplomacy. Oh, well, where's where's the? I think it's actually quite deep in the diplomacy tree, though, isn't it? It's flexible truces, right? No, accomplish forger. Oh fuck! Buy artifact, claim interaction. There it is, all the way down there. Um. Oh man, we'd be stuck in the diplomat tree, and this guy's not a diplomat. I don't. I just don't think it suits him. I think we forget about diplomacy. It's just not what he does. Family hierarch honestly might be good for him. Maybe even August, but I I just can't justify it with this guy. Okay. Um, oh, I still think we should do this grand tour, though, to be fair. Oh, but we're so close to the university. And we are so close to the university. A toast to William Croven's health! And finally, my agent slipped out well before the effects of poison revealed that something was a foot. He is gone. Long live the king. And we've now lost enough stress to keep us back. With the death of William Croven, Tiara Misu's education has... Tiara Misu? It's a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. Tiramisu's education has been interrupted for the sake of a future. A new guardian should be chosen. Um, Loba, his ex-lover. Queen Aldonza, his current lover. Uh, let's go Queen Aldonza. I think she's more trustworthy to educate our children. This guy's paranoid. He would trust his turbulent lover more than, uh, you know, more than anyone else here. So now we start work on the Sicily plan. So I think first things first, my good friend, the king of Sicily, dies. So is that, oh yeah, that iron dagger is actually so good. We'd have had a 91% chance, but because of that dagger, it's brought up to maximum. Oh, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Give me Sicily. So hang on, this guy had a, a, a daughter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we start murdering and, and adjusting succession, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd like to cancel that. I want to make sure that we actually have somebody married in. So your, she's got two sons. That makes that difficult. Um, we'd have to kill her and her two sons. We're gonna have to do like six murder plots. There's no way we're gonna get away with all of that. Just a, a pure amount of numbers. You know, if it's a minimum 5% chance to be caught with each plot. I don't think this will work, but I, 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 I mean, look, I just love Sicily. Maybe his sons, we could, oh, maybe, 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 hold on. We go to your son and we matrilineally marry. Oh, no, because I want Sicily, right, for myself. We can matrilineally marry Right, we could use the hook, and there you go, it's fine. Although, they don't even need the hook. They're just happy to take that, because this kid's so far down the line of succession. However, so you get it, and then you would get it, and then you've got a daughter. Hello. Okay, arrange marriage between your daughter and my son. They'll just accept that. I don't even need to use the hook, because we're planning, like, three generations ahead. That is right. So he inherits, then his son would inherit. And then your daughter. So if this guy dies, it would then default to Guider Horteville. So we do need to be careful with that. We need to make sure that these two have a... We've also got to make sure this guy doesn't have any more kids. I think we do it. I think we do it, and I think we start setting up for generations and generations away. Your son and heir, Kenoli, will be betrothed to my great-granddaughter, Augusta. Then this guy takes an unfortunate fall, or... So if we kill... Who's, who's in line to succession now? Um, Politu. Is that him? Right, so he is. He's next in line. So we could just kill this guy, cut out the middlemen. Sorry, I'm being a little more, more careful about planning than I normally would be. Right, so you die... And then we kill you. And then the father of the person, uh, the father of the daughter we just married patrilineally to our heir is next in line after that to inherit, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, we can just prune the family tree here and there. Not a big deal. Oh, for God's sake, this man just will not give me his damn dagger. 
What's wrong with you? Betrothed can marry. Hello. Uh, King drank of a pollen. Fine. That's absolutely acceptable. Excellent. Thank you. Something unusual. Uh, it's my good friend, Leon. It's my... Oh, God, he's infirm. We're going for an infirm 60-year-old man as our lover. <laughs> I think he would like a book. Would he like a book? No, I think a handkerchief with my crest on it. I think he would quite like that. Oh, he accepted the, the handkerchief. Anything for you, Leon. Oh, oh, this is good. This is weird, I, I will admit. Oh, is it any weirder than his sister? Um, Loba? Loba, his, his prior lover? Oh, God. Sosporos has a decent opinion. Loba does not. I think Sosporos is more trustworthy. You gotta, gotta think of this guy's paranoia. Oh, shit. She's pregnant. Kill her. You have to kill her now. Come on. No! We killed her, but we were caught. The assassin performed spectacular in Basilia. Simonis of the Byzantine Empire is finally dead. However, someone slipped and let my involvement be known. We got two for one. But now, he's going to break the alliance, isn't he? He's going to break that betrothal. Would he break that betrothal? We could just kill the Basilius himself. I don't want to I don't want to kill him before they're married. I don't want to kill him before they're married. He's he's just betrothed himself to a 12-year-old concerning. Uh but by the time they're married, in those nine months that it would take him at the very bare minimum to get a child, these two will be married. Because they're both 11. At which point, he can take an unfortunate tumble down the stairs. As if he's one to talk about murder. Uh, he can take a, a tumble down the stairs. She becomes Basilius. Then we just have to make sure they have a child. It can still work. In fact, it still works fine. It's just a minor complication that we were caught. But who cares? Oh, no. People know that we're a horrible piece of shit. 99 Dread is so good. We need to do something with this Dread, right? We need to... Uh, oh, we, the only person we've really upset is Duke Christophoros. The feeling is mutual. You can die. We've got a nemesis. Ooh. We've never had a nemesis before. The Carling feud begins with House Bagratuni. Oh, this is good. I like having a feud. This suits him perfectly. His schemes got a little bit out of hand. And now, having killed his sister... We're dragged into a, a, a trans-Mediterranean feud. I like this. This is good. The Pope's having a tournament. Um, I, you are, like, actually not a terrible fighter. He's paranoid, though. And tournaments are very dangerous. People die in tournaments all the time. Ugh, no, I can't accept. Oh, we're going to die. It might be, it might be a plot for assassins and murderers. Although, we could go there and also do assassins and murdering of our own. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Oh, no. Look, while we've got this hook on the Basilius, actually, we could probably do something with that. Um, so we'll keep that there. How are we looking? Everything's fine. Everything is just ticking along nicely. Everything is good and fine. We get rid of you. Um, this is all acceptable. Everything is just going smoothly. It's just going well. Something pious like the Golden Legend. Uh, nah, he wants riddle poems. We all love riddle poems. There you go. What a good day. What a good day. Guy to Horteville. Shall we send him? Nah, we don't need to. We don't need to worry about it. We've just got to be patient. If we could get this dagger, it would really help cement some of these hostile plots without us ever having to invest in things. You, you know what? I don't think we're going to go on the hunt. I don't think we need it, to be honest. It doesn't really suit this guy, although he did get the hunter. Hmm. Taking up the call of the wild. He, he had absolutely no skill in it, and they are quite dangerous. I think we're going to hold off. How close are we to Exalted Amongst Men? Bloody miles away. <laughs> I think we'll hold off. I think we'll hold off. We haven't done any investment in a long time. Um, we can explore the planes ourselves. Yeah, we would never trust anybody to do that for us. Ah, Leon and I crouch side by side. Uh, the cunning stag in front of us unaware of our presence. My own attention is unwavering, especially as Leon's shirt brushes against me. When I reach over to embrace him, I find that he also has his attention elsewhere. As the stag disappears in the planes, our naked flesh is cradled by the soft earth. We just had sex with a disabled man in the woods. That's ah, fine. To unite only to come apart. It's all part of life. That's nice. That's nice. You know, uh, look, you clearly had a good time. It's all it's all fine. It's all above board. Who's next? Daughter. No, thank you. That's that's too far. 
That's definitely too far. Uh, bodyguard, though. 95% chance of getting a bodyguard on side. Seems a good idea. Maybe on side, literally. Hello! Uh, to the Impressive Panel of Chocolate Lara Tarini, with your permission, I would like to betroth your niece, the fair, Biggie the Carling. Who's this? The uh, Vleslav the Smelly of Galicia Volhilnia. Uh, I could do that. My niece. Oh, my bastard niece. Oh, I don't give a shit. Yeah, all yours. Forming another alliance. I'm all right with that. That seems okay. We don't actually need to do anything. Yeah, no, why would we map the surroundings and put ourselves at risk when we could just do nothing and have the same effect? Meme, the rodent killer. Rat free for five years. That's good. That's strange because it seems like there's a whole realm full of rats over there. And uh, God, this guy is on it. He is absolutely on it. I'm so impressed. If I just abduct him, can I just take his fucking dagger? It's a core artifact though, isn't it? Oh, it's a weapon. No, it is a weapon. If I just abduct him, can I just, like, take that off of him? Just, like, give me that. In exchange for your release, I will take your your dagger. Oh, for God's sake, let's just abduct him at this point. Maybe we, we kill him and we see where the dagger goes to. It probably goes to, like, his daughter or his liege or something. And then, from that stage, we can maybe do something against him. <laughs> My whole life I've spent trying to get this freaking dagger. We can have a feast. I think we'll do that. Um, what do you think she appreciates? Physical pleasure or wood carving of a castle? Um... Yeah, you know what? Why not? Um, I was thinking maybe the castle because she's like quite a, or she's a legendary blade master, skilled tactician. I think she might be into that, but let's have a feast. Let's have a feast. Why not? Do we need a feast? Maybe it'd be better to keep that in the back pocket. Because he's not, he's not stressed at all. He's actually completely fine with it. And what would I do at a feast? I can invite someone to murder them? I could do that. Oh, I do love a bit of murder. Let's have a feast. Let's have a murder feast. Who loves a little bit of murder? So let's go murder. Murder target. We've got to invite someone. Oh, we could kill Andre. Uh, I think we'll... Um, I, I, somebody said we could do this. We can... Uh, we don't need to hire a You're fine. Um, we, can, we, can, we can go murder, right? And we could just pick anybody for the time being. I think so. I think we can... Oh, somebody said we can change intent midway through. So let's just go recreation, right? Honor a guest, whatever. Don't care. Uh, who do we like? Who do we like? The weird... Uh, what about, like, his... Uh, oh, it's a shame that we can't name his wife because they've got such a weird relationship going on. Um, Princess Sosporos. That'll really rile his wife up. I like that idea. I don't think we need a particularly grand feast. So, in theory... So, in theory, we could invite... We could invite, like, uh... So this guy's in charge. Oh, because he's infirm. Is he dying? Is he on the way out? I wanted to invite this guy, but it won't let me. Bollocks. Um, I wonder if that's because they are... I wonder if that's because they're a regent. Um, we could, can we invite Guy de Horteville? Kill him off? No. Damn, I wanted to invite someone midway through the feast and then and then murder them. Because apparently we can do that. So we'll... Uh, I'll see if I can do it later on. It wants to make... Oh, your legendary skill. Whoa, you want to make a uh, cabinet? Oh, I'll sponsor that for sure. Yeah. We've got a legendary person turning up to court. That's great. Guy of Sicily. Dies. More like die of Sicily. <laughs> Excellent work. Okay. So. Good. Good, 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 good. So you need to die now, Polisu. Polisu needs to die. This is going to be a lot of chaperoning to make sure this works. We're going to have to kill so many. We're going to have to basically dedicate one of our three hostile schemes to ensuring this this goes through. Whoops. Let's not do that. I mean, look, if I'm about to murder the guy, I'm going to demand a payment from him first. Because otherwise, when he dies, we lose it, right? Um, can we can we just now murder? Murder? Can I use a murder? Oh, right, because I cancelled it before. Shit. Uh, okay. That's a little annoying. We could go ahead and prune some of the other aspects of the family tree. We could kill his wife, for example, to make sure that he has no other children. So I think that's okay. A little bit of a safety net there, so to speak. This is fine. We get Sicily. We get we get Byzantium. We don't get Byzantium, but of course we, it gets into the family tree. Duke Christophoros dies. We're going to cask him up, just like we tried to do with his... Oh. 
just like we tried to do with his sister. He is dead, walled up, and soon to be forgotten. Follow me willingly, drunk on merriment, and wine into the cellar. That doesn't make any sense why we follow you willingly. It's one less bag to worry about in any case. This is only the beginning. This is going to be able to build us our university. Cool. Kill the next one. Ooh, Leontius has a lot of cash. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cash out on that. Because, I mean, it's rare for the Byzantines to have that much money. Um, and then maybe we'll fabricate a hook on him later. What have we got going on right now? Abducting you, murdering you, seducing you, fine. Um, I, I want to carry on with the murders to, to tidy up this feud. So we should always be going for the house head, right? Because that will give us some 134 living members. Fucking hell. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. That could take a long time. Um, well, this is life, isn't it? You've made your bed. Now lie in it. You've only got to kill another 134 people, okay? That's just like a... Nothing changes. Bagratuni dogs are all the same. Hateful House Bagratuni is now there in the hands of Nikephoros, a duke, surely. So just as wicked as his predecessors, though he is only a boy. Everyone knows of Christophoros reciprocated rivalry with me, but what of the future, obviously. I want them to apologize. I want them to cancel the feud. We are winning against them. Very good. Um, somebody... Has written a poem about us. This lovely man here. Ah, uh, the mightiest men must leave this earth. No matter what realms they have given birth. And only hope for memory's grace. So that the whole world remembers their face. This is truly half hour shit. I don't know how I feel about this. She's pregnant. Aldonza is pregnant again. Excellent. Uh, murder Augusta de Horteville has been discovered. Damn. Exposed. Even though it's exposed, we're still at 46% and the secrecy is decently high. I presume our spy master is uh, supporting schemes, right? Landolf? Is he not a religious man? He certainly dressed like a religious man. Landolf, that's unbelievable. Have we got a better spy master? This guy's genius. You know what? You're fired, Landolf. <laughs> can, I send, can I send a gift to this guy? Oh, let's invite him to the activity. Hell yeah. Join me. Join me, my friend. Come, come, come to the feast. And we can make him guest of honor. The new spy master of the realm. Uh, that's what then? A friend. What was his name? Uh, your bodyguard. Did he accept? Someone else's spy master. Your brother in law, spy master. And knight. We try and befriend the spy master. Oh, this is genius. I want someone watching her at all hours. This is a risky endeavor. Lower secrecy, but increased scheme power. That seems that seems worthwhile. That absolutely seems worthwhile. Okay, this is good. Welcome, friends. See if we can win over our new spy master. Oh, Pastis is calling as a deviant. I mean, we already knew that. She she had sex with her brother. It's not exactly like a not exactly like a a, a normal thing to do. A uh, knight of Deserkin's a hundred glory and tales of knightly leadership. Ah. Oh. Oh, we get to pick, right, a title to bestow some glory on. Um, I suppose I should probably have a look at the titles then and see which one we like the most. Knight of the Best Warrior in the World has nothing going for it. Um, Warrior Knights plus one. I'm not really sure. Monthly Martial Lifestyle. Oh, that seems better. Knight of Dessert. I like the Knight of Dessert. It's kind of a classic. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we actually finished our sedu- we, we dipped out of the feast for a little while to dip into something else. Thank you. And we slept with this man's wife, so we've gained another rival. Put him on the list. <laughs> my niece-in-law, Loba, has revealed that- Oh. My niece-in-law has revealed that we have slept with her. Oh, for God's sake. My wife. Oh. My sinful acts come at a cost. Yes, I'm well aware we are a sinner. While dining in the hall, I look across towards Cannelloni's table and see a shocking series of events. Pemo spilled his drink all over Cannelloni's food, and then Cannelloni demanded that he give him his own meal as repayment. Ah, uh, he's quite right in his demands. Impatient. Well, that fuss when you could have just hit him. They will learn that the more subtle revenge is sweeter. Ooh. This kid was naturally inclined towards intrigue, right? Chip off the old block, perhaps. We haven't had that before. We haven't had two successive character types. Vengeful and charming. Interesting. I don't want this character to become a duplicate of our last character. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to specifically go for it. I'm going to pick what I think would make the most sense that this character would try and impart on his child. 
Simultaneously, I feel like uh, Biscotti would have been an overbearing piece of shit. I don't remember. I don't think that Biscotti actually liked Pan au Chocolat, right? And, and Pan au Chocolat didn't like Biscotti. He didn't really care. So I think he probably wouldn't force this kid into a particular mold, but it does seem like he's kind of naturally gravitating towards a particular way anyway. Uh, what a great night. Oh, it worked. We actually became friends with our spy master. Oh, well, that's amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. We still keep him at arm's length. We're still, you know, we're still careful. Um, oh, dear. We accidentally, while we were drunk, told Antonis about our, uh, told Antonio about our secret, about his sister specifically. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We became friends with him, though. Okay, that's good. That's okay. We uh, maybe maybe we tried a little bit too highly to keep things going. Ah, uh, a toast to Sosporos. We can address the cuts comb of the hour. All you're all very welcome to my hospitality. Um, nah, you're all very welcome to my hospitality. She took it personally. You know what? It's not the first thing from him she's taken personally. So why is she complaining? We've got to get up to exalted amongst men. We have to. We absolutely have to. A name to remember. My beneficiary, Dinosius, approaches me with a thoughtful expression. Is there anyone special to you, my lord? This is the person. Nope. No need for dedication. Dedicated to me. We're callous. Callous, after all, right? Um, right, okay. So let's... Re oh, should I just auction that off? We're not using it. Get out of here. Uh, wow, we got a lot going on here. We can negotiate alliances, except we can't. No one's going to accept alliances. This guy's an awful piece of shit. We can imprison Lobo. Pardon your niece. I'm not going to imprison a lady for sleeping with, with Pan au Chocolat. No. We're going to pardon her. Be free. Point a worthy successor to the Knight of Ballet of Tyrrhenia. Oh, dear. Can we actually? Nope. What a mess. These uh, accolades are a bit of a pain in the ass to manage, aren't they? They're a bit of a pain in the ass to manage. Okay. I think we go for uh, extort subjects because there is no other character I'm probably ever going to pick to take that decision. A small wife, Aldonza, chattering excitedly with Dionysius, listing ideas and suggestions for his cabinet. Um, listen well, Dionysius, my wife must be heard. 54% chance he produces a high quality artifact, or leave him to it, wife. Take the gamble? Take the gamble? Do we trust her? She really doesn't like us, but we like her a lot. Okay, okay. Let's play the character, trust her. She stifles him, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he should have let his paranoia rule. Um, 150 gold to abduct the bow. Yes, he's avoided us every other day, but not this time. I will negotiate your release. Uh, I will recruit him. How interesting. How interesting. We'll employ him as an executioner so that he's more inclined to stay around in court. And then I could probably just take his artifact. Ooh. This is interesting. Uh, we're actually not that far off of being able to convince him anyway. So I think we fabricate a hook on this guy now. Next year. And we go from there. Oh, nice. Okay, we could do something with that. Right, what, what have we currently got going on then? We are murdering... Uh, right, yes, the, the, the Duke. That's fine. That's been exposed, but we're not doing terribly on that front. Um... You haven't got any other kids. Nothing. Nothing. Everything's just going smoothly. I, I guess we could extort some more cash from someone. Sure. Let's top up our coffers a little bit then. Let's go ahead and fabricate a hook. It's 56% chance on you or 90% chance on France. Okay, we'll go for that one then. Fair enough. Just keep the coffers topped up. And then... Oh, where's his hair gone? His hair's all fallen out. I mean, it's not exactly straight. It's just aging. You know, he's just getting a little bit older. That's fine. Uh, honestly, it kind of looks better. He, he can he can pull it off. You might need to get his circle it shrunk down a little bit. Um, this lady is not somebody we can seduce, apparently. You just got to try and find a new a new seduction target, you know. Ah, uh, hello, hello, hello. Anybody out here? My niece? She's 15. That's not okay. Uh, sister? We've already kind of been there, though, haven't we? Um, my wife? I was going to say, what about her? Um romance your wife they're not up for it it's uh, too too much of a turbulent relationship for that what about her oh we've already seduced her before seduce her again sure sure just just fill that gap i mean it would make more sense to yeah you know, do any other plot to be honest because the, the seduction is doing absolutely nothing for us at all like we're not getting any benefits from it just doing it to, to keep it going um hello 
My deeds are spoken of with reverence and envy of the world over, from foreign courts to village taverns, and with that come supporters. Today, Ulrich is ushered in, a small, uh, representing a small Sardino French mercenary band from the tournament harbor to Biscotti. Oh, superb king, my friends and I hear of your wondrous cabinet being made for you. It would be deeply honor, your majesty. We'd like to donate to your carpenter. Oh. Um. Yes. Yes, of course. Please donate. Thank you. What? <laughs> Very bizarre. When the raised voices reach me yet again, I turn. I, I call my instinct to turn on my heel. The constant bickering of Judica Migali and Judessa Margarita is something that would drive any man mad. Would diplomacy? Oh, stewardship challenge even. Oh, but it is a diplomacy challenge. Oh God, we're never going to succeed with that. Well, we might as well give it a gamble. Oh my God, we actually worked. It worked, and we got some more. Oh, we're so close to that bloody university at this point. Hello. Uh, he wants to marry my daughter. No. Oh, well done, so you've been so brave. We have a son. Oh, genius and comely. This kid could be better. Samaritanu. Oh, my God. Okay, what's the number one Sicilian dessert? Cannoli. We've already got that. Granita. What's this one? Cassata. Well, that looks delicious. Liqueur drenched Genuine sponge cake layered with sweet ricotta and fruit preserves. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious. Cassata. May you grow strong and wise, my son. Oh, maim. Found this little monster among my things. What wasn't scratched to bits was covered in piss. Oh, for God's sake, maim. Okay, we've got a genius son. Now we have to decide. Absolute crown authority. We've got another 10 years. How old is he? 45. We can do it. We can do it. We can, we can, we can do something here. Okay. I think for today, let's leave it there. We've got a lot going on right now. We've got plots for Sicily. We've got plots for, we've got plots for Byzantium. We've got genius sons that we might want to inherit. We've got a uh, university to build. We've got ever there's so much. There's so much occurring, uh, you know, like a feud and everything. This is very complex. So let's leave it here. Lots to do. Lots that we have done though. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe one of these plots comes into motion.